do this so I'll quickly do it so um okay, so let's change the color so I use red here I use red and of course you reduce this this is and then blow it here so we have this okay so I'm gonna adjust this not using here of course using this big one this one here so um we're gonna adjust this adjust it increase it to cover the screen but do it in such a way that there will still be space in this aspect like um black the black will be showing those areas so this is okay let's get adjusted a little bit so this is okay okay now some have something like this and we'll close it you can copy it or go and create another one or you can simply copy it and then we're going to change the color here now for these um uh, of course you can simply go and use this because what i want to create now is like i want to change this to get like a brown kind of color yeah, not really this one but it's a great good gradient color but i think i use this one yeah i think i use one so i'm going to show you how to create it so you go to this place you click on the first one So it blends well without our design. What I want to use now is not necessarily good gradient. So I'm going to click on this second one and come to. So I click on here and then take it. I won't be using um, um, orange yellow. I'll be using like orange red here. That is the orange is close to the red. I'm going to use something like this and then reduce the opacity as the opacity adds things to it and we have something like this so this is much more better than like it blends well than this one you see so we have this now of course see something observe that if you adjust it like this you place it there there's this you are seeing some like that part it's not really blending with the background so you want to take it forward like Next, introduce what our image is now, and then increase the size of one. So, I can use this, okay? So, having this, I can lock this now and import the other one, okay? So, this is the other one. Now we're just gonna place this somewhere here. Now notice that notice the position of these image. They are both facing the same side. And if I were to place it here now, it doesn't really make sense. If I to do it here. So what I did, I went to here crop and um, invert it, press this place, and yeah. uh, I want to blend it. Now I don't like the way it looks there. So I'll go to eraser. Now um, there's a video on how to blend images together. So um, it's on my YouTube channel as well as it's on the classroom. You can easily get that blend stuff. So let's check it out. Here it is now.
So okay, okay, can't see touch this part. Okay, let's touch here. Okay, good. So we have this. Now this isn't bad. Now you can lock it. Let's position it here. Just gonna use uh, reduce the size to like 20. The size of like 20. Okay, and then I'm gonna add another text up um, body. So I can do something like this bit D and um, change it. So I'm still gonna use the same typeface Mona Sans, but I'm gonna change the font to so Mona Sans semi bold wide and let's use okay uh, size okay for the picture we have same one I use so we have this now um now um we can come here to work on the line spacing like this but I don't like it in this case so I'm just gonna uh you put them separately so I can adjust them where I want let's see how I did it there of course it's too close to the image here so we want to separate it from okay it's okay so let's see what I did here anyways okay all right okay I place them here right uh, and of course know that um you work with a uh, grid right so automatically uh, I, I don't set this again because automatically definitely for the even without me setting it that by default so um you may say the circle is not touching the last line but yeah but see this one this one still for for the text still falls under that place so that's how it works so you want to set that grid so wherever the last stuff is it says touching here and there. this one too should stay for it should walk within that place doesn't have to be 17 by 17 but that's what i use now um okay i'm noticing here that the the way i increase the text um the way i did the first one is larger so i'm going let me just um do the same thing here and just use it to like work on it so i'm just gonna place this here now do I have this? This. Uh, I'll do the same here. Do the same here. Okay. So we have this. All right. Okay. So we have this. Right. Okay. Now um, I'm just gonna write um details. Add the details. Let's just zoom. I want it to be the same place. Okay. So there, there, there. There. So I have that. So of course, uh, um, if you take a look at these now, you're gonna see I drew something here. I drew something this place here. So that's pretty um, easy. I'm just gonna show you what I do. did there. You just go to draw, you go to draw, and then you take um, what I the color there is white. So I'm just gonna reduce this to like three, and then um, sorry, let me remove, let me turn off this 
go with the focus and displace now. Okay, let's see, let me activate this. So, see. So what I did now is, and of course, uh, see, did I arranged it properly. So always make sure your work are aligned, right? Your text, everything. So I'm going to use white here and um, take this to Terry. Now, what you simply do is that you just draw. Don't rush, uh, so don't make, just feel free your hand. Just make sure you're doing it gently. See. I'm holding the screen. This is the easy part. This is the um, beautiful part here. Yeah, if you just tap on the screen, just hold on the screen, and then while holding on the screen, just move your finger. You'll notice the pen is moving. Yeah, don't like, don't remove your hand from it. Don't remove your hand. Any how you want to do it, but I'm giving you an easy way to do it. And what you want to draw. But what I did there is simply something like this. So, well, that's why I say of this video. Let's just work with something like this. This isn't quite what I did there, but uh, stay, stay close, position it where I want it to be. So we have this. Sorry, we have this. Next thing I want to do now is to add um um that um date part. So. Let me turn on this. I want it to be the same thing actually. And it will be the same thing. So uh, let me walk with the same size here. Yeah. I'm going to use the same size. Just walk with this. Okay, so what I did there, gradient. I used gradient like this. But let me create. Okay, let me just show you. This is what I did. Okay, I added gradient. Cyan and blue. So that's it. So, um, the next thing to do here is to add your text. So, I wrote, um, wait, let me turn this off. Let me turn this off. So, I wrote the text, uh, um, what's the text again? Calf celebrates. Calf celebrates. Calf celebrates. Now, if you were to write the, the full test is half celebrate our uh, impeccable impeccable leader impeccable leader no impeccable CEO now if you write everything once and you come here because you are going to use this call you come here to use call it's not going to give you a whole set call it's not going to give you a set call it's like a half call so what you do is that um, um, you do this one break it into two break it into two so calf celebrate now um say calf celebrate um, the font i use for these um, is um uh, sans semi bold white so i use mona sans semi bold white for this i'm going to reduce the size to like nine yeah nine so let me take it to this place let's zoom our work now I'm gonna do this and um, apply the curve. Apply the curve. So we have this. Now you see it's not perfect. Like the curve is not perfect. So I'm gonna to go to spacing, spacing and hard turn to it. So we have this. And also, also uh, you can see now that um, okay before we even had spacing to it. Okay, we can see it now. I'm going to add on um, this to heat so that the text is fuller. You see, it's like covers the place you want to. I'm going to copy the same text, the same text now, and add on um, the remaining part. The remaining part are uh, impeccable. See you. Now, what I'm going to do now is go to reset and turn it. Now you see, um, of course, it has the same spacing. You have to put spacing. If you don't put spacing, it's going to look like this. So, make sure you put spacing. Now, pay attention to what I'm about to say now. It's very important that um, this you use um, the same number of letters. That's why I even added this dot here. Because if we're to count it now, we have one, this four, this four, then these are many. What thing? 14 right 14 then um, with the space here as oh let's not count the space now let's say 14 liters right now 
14 liters but count this one now how many liters this is three this is three that's six and how many is here see thing and that one is 14 so that is why i added on this two dots so it completes it so that it, it's balanced because if those dots are not there see this is what we're gonna have this is what we're gonna have see it's not balanced so we should make make sure that they are complete right the same equal or close but should be at least equal so the next thing to do is to add um, um the date there which is um 10th um, april 10th april so i'm gonna add this and then um, i'll use the same font there mona sans semi bold and i'm going to use um um like 18 for it i'm going to place it here now of course to make sure your work is um uh, you set them properly you're going to do this use relative position to come to relative position here and then you click the first one you can just do this for all of them but uh, still okay if you had this one this one will give you more better work but I can manage with the first one so you do the same thing for the circle as well do the same thing for the circle you have this and then for this one you do the same thing just that this one now is a bit tricky because if you press it it's gonna do <laughs> that's why I said I, I work with that just that point like this just that you have this Course, let me go touch this first. Let me change the alignment here to uh, nice alignment here to center alignment. It's better. Okay, so what I'll do now is to move these ones. Move, sorry, the two curve stuff. I'm gonna move them here. I'm gonna move them here. Okay, because you want to. You want to zoom your work so you see how you're moving it. So this this is equal. So we have um, a good job. In the video how to curve um how to do this, I uh, explained it in like more more detailly. So um, okay. So we have this. We can even still reduce the size of the circle. Let's reduce it to 16. So yes, this is more better. Let's zoom it now and see. Okay. So now we're just gonna move this two again. Move this two. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. The next thing is that oh we're supposed to even mark this before. We're supposed to mark mark the spots that um because since you are doing this, I'm supposed to mark. Well, well it's okay. You can but mark the spot you move, where you are moving it from, so it's better. So we have this. What I do is that I'll activate this uh, this uh, grid and I'll use it to mark the spot. Oh, I'll tell myself it's here, so I'm gonna put it here. So I'll tell myself it's here. I'll do something like so I know it's that spot. You get what I'm trying to say, right? So we have this. Now you can. Okay, right. Yeah, it is. So we can lock everything now. We can lock everything now. So the next thing to do, alright. So we have these. So I'm gonna use paste it, and then um, go to font, and then take Mona Sans and hold. You pay attention. You see, I'm working with Mona Sans. You know, most people they just tend to like use different form try to work with one form first before you before you dive to go and like say you want to use another form. So I'm gonna do something like this now. So I'll go this one here. So this is my text. You make sure it's readable. I think this is okay. It's fine. So I will leave it here and then if you, see, you notice there I did something else. I use this shape then I uh, because I mark the place I want it to be. Okay, can we use grid self to check this out? I want it to be about that. Then I'll put this one here. Then uh, oh. Then I'll move this now. Then I can walk with that size. I 
okay oh i'm supposed to do this here you can on this here so that it stays okay we have this all right so i'm gonna turn up the opacity and then um, add stroke to it so to it okay and we give it white now we have this now um what we want to do next is to go to this place eraser eraser and then clean you click on this place and then you select the square select the square select the square and then you have this so you just extend it like this to clean up um, where you want so you can do this for this other side something like this if we position it the way or if it's okay you can go ahead and mesh them go ahead and mesh them uh, once you do that you can increase it so we have something like this okay all right so um, you can um, work on you can reduce these um, can reduce this to the length you want it to be so whatever you want and of course this can be higher I've already measured it so I cannot do it because if you check my like the one I did before the one I did before which is this if you check it it is quite uh, let me turn it off as well see it's higher than that so that should that, therefore I'm talking about this that therefore will be um, during the time you are cutting it you should not cut you should it's not a fixed thing shot depending on how you want it to be so but this one I'm just telling you why the difference there is because of how we cut that part so look at this now the one we did now it's quite short too and the size I used there it's I think it's less than three okay because of what i was saying now well it's fine now um before we continue adding more details we should adjust um these images so even before taking your work to apps like lightroom or snapseed you can come here to like adjust your work so we're gonna add saturation to our photo okay this looks all right so we can add um and reduce the brightness and add contrast because you want to do this in the way that it comes up so this is 15 minus 2 and 12 so you want to have the same thing for this other photo so 15 15 minus 2 must it be the same not really but um, so can try to work with it see it's better so what needs to do so you had um we just want to style up our background now so i'm going to add i'm going to use the initials because the pastor the, the, the lady here is pastor sheridan Kuala. so um, um one of the designer a design i made for someone yesterday so someone asked me to make make the design so um i'm going to use um um the same typeface mona sans but another font no typeface is the font family then they have several fonts variations there so using mona sans black this one here mona sans yeah. so i'm just gonna use this okay let me use the same size i just want it to be the same thing so i'm gonna use the same so i'm gonna turn rotate this okay so it fits that place So 
it is good enough. Okay, let's derotate it. Okay. Alright. So now I'm gonna send it back. I'm just gonna send it back real quick. Okay. And send it back. Let me turn off this. So we have this. Now if you notice now I use a um, um color there, not orange now. Uh, orange can work but I use um this gold color now for it. Now I noticed why, um, like the earlier part of this video, that um, there was like a glitch, and you probably didn't hear what I said during um, when I was telling you how to create um, the gold template. So the first thing I said, um, you select. Um, let's just take this back. So I said um, you select um, like a red orange color red orange so that's it and i said you, you come to this left end and you can use the same red orange color or or something close to it that means you can copy this exact one you can copy this exact one copy this exact one and come here to paste it then paste it and then click ok you must click ok then you can have it there as well or you can just simply just go and select it like can just select it that is you look of course should be that region so but that copying it you get the exact one so i said the next thing you come here this first one this first one and then click on plus right this thing recording okay click on plus and then you go to select um a red um sorry yellow orange color yellow orange color that's yellow and orange that, um, and you have this gold template and of course you can come to this place now and click the first one and click on plus it's going to create like a slightly different color from that one so you go to this same place this one or you click on the center on anyone to give you the same thing and you press plus you're going to give you that and what you do is go to here and then uh, you increase like add things so it is adding white so you have this and then do the same thing for here and you have this so you have something like this so that's what that's how you get this one here but then i made mention of something that for um for these our background so that the thing blends where because if we were to use if we were to use this one now you see it's having um that um, um it's not really blend with the background so i said um instead of using yellow instead of using yellow orange here but this good template good gradient instead of using orange here we'll come here to like select um orange uh, um red or red orange and then hard things to it so that's what we did there so that's what we did there in case you didn't hear it the first time because i went back to play the video because i actually split it now this is the second part of the recording i went this to it and i noticed that uh, it wasn't coming out the next thing to do is that uh, this is the initial by the way another one again this should this now be O the other part of the name okay so we have O here and okay now I want to reduce the size we don't necessarily need this other part but if we want to fix that part or padding sometimes you can use padding so but now we have fixed it now um what we need to do now is just to send it to the back send this to the back okay send this to the back now this is just something this is just a style just something i do to like um, um style up the background but when you are doing it of course you don't want to do it in such a way that they will know that it's later there <laughs> you understand so you don't want to do it in a way that they don't know um, um if you notice this place the the text is not really readable in this area here so what i'll do now is just um copy this same thing because you can use circle for it but <laughs> Like I said, I just, I'm just working with initial, and then you use a color that will match the background. Remember, our background is like a brand color, so we'll just go and do something like this. Red, 
think this is okay can adjust it if it won't if it does not enter so we'll take this back take this back we'll see this one yeah take it back and put it here let's still change the color let's use so I don't like, I like it. so this is better so you just use a color that blends well with the background so that's now it's readable right okay all right so we are almost done so we're gonna add um the name now so it said pastor now um the font i use or the tire the typeface i use is um a script and written font dope style this one here this one here so that's what i use so past i'm just gonna reduce the size of this one and let me copy it because i use the same thing for um the name so pastor sheridan Opala. so i have this so i can increase this a bit now notice that because i use a script font here i for the name i didn't use a script font for happy birthday because you have to work with that one at most uh, work with one script or at least um, two won't be bad it's not bad so So let's kind of create a, like a contrast here. Now, uh, I made a video on how to like um, double your text, how to use the double text effect. Now I'm just going to use this one. Now since I already made that video, so let's because of time. So you click on start test effect. Well, I don't want to save. I want to use one I already saved. So I'll browse. And go to my styles so you see the ones that I've saved. Now, I'm just gonna click on this. Well, what I did here is just simply to hide on this, um, the same gradient color for the circle. The circle here, so yeah. So now I'm just for this circle one, I'm gonna use this other one I saved. This one here. I yeah, will use this. I think I don't think I use. Okay. Okay. And yeah, let me change the color to this rather than delete this one. Oh, let me delete this one and change the color to like yellow, and then place it at the top like this. Then I have this. You see, I have the name already. I can just move this. Now we are done with um, the design. Um, all we have to do now is to export our work and then move on to the next application. Uh, of course, you can use Pixel Lab to create everything. But uh, some effect I want to add to it, I'll need another app for that, and that's PSCC. Now I'm not going to. Of course, you want to save your work, so you, you save this project. Um, let's say eCard save this project so you can always come and adjust it now what I want to do now is I'm going to um, delete everything 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 and export only the background of course you can do this at the initial stage the initial, initial stage right so I'm just going to export the background so I'm going to press save as image, then PNG, then ultra. Now, by the way, I use black here as um, before I added that red shiny effect and then the gold um, gradient. It doesn't always have to be black. It depends on the design you're creating. So um, I'm talking about um, this, uh, this place. I use black, right? It doesn't have to be black. Depending on what, based on the effect, the kind of, um, color I'm, I want to create now this brand color hard to use black so that's it and good so we have that so what we simply need to do is to take this back take this back take this back take this back or or just go and let's just open that um, project again 
okay so what you do now is delete um, the background now um, and of course make it transparent now um why am i telling you to do this is because um if you if we were to export them as a whole um if we start editing with pscc there are certain effects now you may not want them to affect it's going to affect the whole design and that may not be what you want so it's best you export them separately you get so and even if you want to add certain pngs like um, all these um, extra you know stuff like this just to style up your design make sure don't you don't necessarily have to add it now and i advise not to add it now except you want to export it separately as well because it's best you use um pscc to to um add it because that's if you are going to be working with pscc if you are going to be doing what i'm about to show you now so let's export these now so we export this what you have to do next is to use pscc so that will be the next app you're going to be seeing all right so this is pscc so what we do is we click on add image here so click on it and then go to photo library and then we'll go to the pixel lab folder i've already opened it so all i have to do now is select the background we imported exported rather <laughs> so i'll click on it and press add to have this so i'll say add your image add the image okay well you can add it um, you can add the image so i think i i spotted it twice but it's fine so you had the image so you just press ok so you see just like in pixel up so we're just gonna hide this one first because i'm not working with it now so you select this place you want to work with the background so we're going to click on plus icon and go to select um photo layer photo layer click on so yeah and then um i want to add something to the background i just i want to work like um <clears throat> make it even more professional so hold on all right so i'll be using um this background here um this background here so i'm just gonna click on it and press hard okay and i'll use um I'll just drag drag and then on. okay can't adjust more than this so just make sure you position it where like the side you want to use so let's say I did this okay press ok and then I, I'll click on this place this place of course select the layer it's selected already and then click on this and and go to transform and now just adjust it to complete the stuff and so we have to so next thing you do is go to you click here to see the layers then after selecting that layer we'll come here and then we'll go to blend mode and we'll change it from normal to like screen just okay um, you can use the others but for this particular um, background this one works better so we'll have this now now um, I like to want to add to it. Um, I want to see add something to it. So I'm going to press OK. Sorry, plus and then photo. So I'm going to click on hard. So enlarge this. Enlarge, enlarge. So this OK. I'm going to position it at the center. And then I'm going to go to. Remember, you select the layer and then you come here. I'm going to come here and then go to blend mode and change it to screen can be lighten but let's use screen so I have this so let's turn on our image now so let's adjust remember I select the this layer so we select it so let's adjust this I want to make I want to make it cover the side like in our design so you see we're having this we have this this is 2020 have this so you can adjust it like this and press ok now you may want to come to fx still selecting that um stuff and then go to this this um blow so let's select it again okay then go to blow this blow here and click on it 
okay and then increase the blur so it blends with it but it's fine if you leave it like this so this okay all right so next thing we want to do now is add flare <coughs> so we're going to click on plus now it's saying it's saying maximum layers which to create another layer reduce the image size or mesh than it is in layers we don't want to to reduce the image size so what we want to do now we are sure if you are sure of your work like this uh the background you are done with it uh, so what we'll do now is mesh so we're going to click on mesh down select this one click on here this mesh down click on mesh down sorry yeah you see mesh down here this one click on mesh down it's going to match with that so so that we can have space for more the same thing here mesh down but you, you have to make sure that you are sure that that is what you want because you won't be able to undo it you can undo it but you, if you have done something else now it means you have to go and do it again because you have to take it back to this point get it so now let's add flare to this so you're just gonna click on photo library and go to flare so there are several flares you can use but i want to use um this gold flare gold lens flare so i'm gonna click on add so i can choose to increase it or not because i can do that later so what i want to do now i'll go to blend mode and add screen so take a look at the flare it's kind of too bright <clears throat> so what we'll do is uh, first of all let's position it where we want it to be so click on this transform and we can adjust it so i want it to be here i want it to yeah, i'm just gonna adjust it so that it's like entering a face but um what i would do now is this first of all I'll press ok then i'll go to um this place here this setting and go to levels so i click on levels now um, um take note of all these tools here observe what i'll be doing so this first one here this first one here is to remove the like outer layer like outer part of the flare the shining part like the extension or should i say the bright yeah the flare of the brightness of it so reduce it then this one is to affect this one affects the source see if it affects the source itself that's the inner part of it if you get what i'm trying to say so i can choose to increase the brightness or reduce it so it affects certain parts so this is okay i don't want to touch the second part now as for these other ones you don't necessarily have to use them but this is what it would do see see what it's doing we don't want to do that so um go now to red on them because if you check that out design you notice it has a, like a red um the flare is red but of course if you want it to be like this it's fine but i want it to have like that kind of red so i'm going to do this. see taking it you are, you are removing red taking it to the left so i want to take it to the right so you see i'm adding it's having that kind of red stuff so as for green you don't really have to come here but let's see removing green removing green see like this so we have this it is good enough is good enough um can have this then do the same thing do the same thing want to add um of course since we have already cropped this stuff you see if i'm if i took because you can say you want to duplicate this layer but um that's why you have to duplicate it before before touching it at all okay so see it has already cut that part because of the wheel so i don't want to use it there for of course if i say i want to use it i just have to rotate it rotate it but let's say if that is not what about if that is not the place i want to position what about if it's center so i have to go and i'll have to go and um, um import it again so let me just simply import it now i'm going to delete this one just that you have to do the same effect again so um, i'm going to select um the flare remember you can at this point now at this point where you, let's like the first time we're importing it if you know you are going to use it again simply duplicate it duplicate it but since because of this design now because of this telling us that of course it's because of the size there are some it won't tell you that so it tells you to reduce the size but let's just work with what we have here now 
to screen so i'm going to position this one in here i'm going to take this one here you can increase it if you want to so i'm going to put this one here okay let's do it increase it put this one here and um i'll go to levels to like make it red you get sorry can decrease it and then go to red add red to it add red to it now we don't want to touch this one so you see i've had it um ready so that's how i got that stuff of course you can still move it if you want to you can move it if you want to so it's like this all right so we have um so let's see adjust this first one let's adjust this first one so we can see take this one back can see take it back and just enlarge it okay and now this so the 